Hey guys, Tavin back playing some red green death ping in Popper. Uh, unfortunately, we can't keep this hand. If this was a forest, we could probably keep, but I'm gonna have to mulligan this. Need some better land. Uh, this is fine. We'll keep this. Uh, we're gonna put this to the bottom. Alright, opponent keeps his seven. Or her. So we got some creatures. Um, what are we playing against? Soul Sisters? Tokens? Um, hmm. Let's see. Turn one if we play the bow. Turn two we can play the recluse. And then turn three we can equip the bow. If I play Rugged Highlands, I can't do that. Let's go ahead and go like this. This will get the bow equipped on turn three. Next turn we'll play the spider. We're hoping not to see a journey to nowhere. Opponent gets in for one. Okay, we go to 19. And he passes a turn. Alright. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and play a deadly recluse here. And pass a turn. Is this a mana tithe? Is that why he kept one land up? It's going to really be unfortunate if he has a mana tithe. Oh, cool. No mana tithe. Alright. So, as planned, next turn we can equip the bow. Start killing his creatures. Hopefully, he may have a journey to nowhere here. If he attacks... I wonder if it's a bluff attack. I wonder if I can... There's the journey. Alright. There's the journey we were worried about. I suppose I should have waited and just ambushed Viper in the end of turn, but... That probably would have been the best route, huh? Another force isn't quite what we're wanting to see here. We'll play the Rugged Highlands, and we're going to bring down Ambush Viper at the end of turn. Three mana, Guardian's Pledge. Well, that really makes me want to block. That really makes me want to block, actually. Should I do it? I don't know. It's six damage. Takes me to 12. He's got three cards in hand. I do have two snakes, but he may have another journey. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Definitely going to bring in the Ambush Viper at the end of turn here. He's going up to 25 life. He's, he's going to have four cards in his hand. Hmm. Power of Fire is a good draw here. I think I'm going to play the forest, equip the bow. Should I go ahead and do this now while he's tapped out? Probably so. Yeah, let's do it now while he's tapped out. And also, he may have like triplicate spirits or something like that. I don't want him getting that convoke uh, benefits, so we'll go ahead and pass the turn from here. And we just hope he doesn't have another journey. I think Corian Ranger would be a pretty good addition to this deck. I don't know. I have to see if I have room for it. 
Goes to combat. Four cards in hand. Let's see if he attacks here. No attacks. All right. Forest. Hmm. Well. Hmm. I'll go ahead and pass the turn here. I'm going to wait to uh, death ping that soul warden. What's he got here? Is this a creature? Squadron Hawk? Alright, well, to stop him from gaining life, we'll go ahead and ping the Soul Warden. And he uses Remosian Rally, but it's not going to matter because I got Death Touch. All right, Squadron Hawk resolves, and he gets some more Squadron Hawks. He's got three cards in his hand, so he's probably going to get th all three of the Hawks. If he doesn't get three, then that means he already has some in his hand. Let me see how many he gets. He got three. All right. Do I flash in the Viper here at the end of turn? I think I like that idea. Yeah. I do like that idea. And then I can put pow Power of Fire on him. Seems pretty good. Alright, back over to us. Abundant Growth we'll go ahead and use here. Draw us a card. What do we get? What do we get? Another bow would be pretty good. Scorpid, alright. Um, hmm. That's, getting the power of fire on the Scorpid is, is best because he only has one attack power. But I want to get the uh, Death Ping active here. So we're going to throw this on the Ambush Viper now. And we're going to go ahead and play our Scorpion. Um, I think I might Death Ping an attack for two here. Mm. No, we're going to wait until he has like no creatures, I think. And I'll just ping him at the end of turn. If, he, if I don't have any uh, two creatures to hit. At least if he journeyed to nowhere as one of our snakes, I can ping the bird in response. <clears throat> and if he does play another bird here, then I'll just kill it too. We're getting pretty close to just creature locking our opponent. Um, journey to nowheres do interrupt us, but he now has to have two journeys. He goes to combat. Doesn't attack. All right, pass his turn. We'll go ahead and ping him up here. One to the hawk, one to his face. And we get an archer. Hmm. I think we're going to go ahead and go to combat. Get in with the scorpion. And we'll play the archer here. And we'll go ahead and pass the turn. Actually, I made a mistake. I made a mistake here. It's a small mistake. But I should have equipped the bow onto the scorpion. And then attacked in with the ambush viper for one more point of damage. Uh, which I will do next turn. But, I mean, it's a really small mistake. But if if he wins and he's, and he's at one life, then you know we know where we messed up. Ping him for two. Go back to us. All right, now we can go ahead and move this bow over. And attack for four here. <clears throat> Ooh, 
we'll go ahead and play our recluse too just to give us a little bit of a clock here okay pass the turn this deck is really neat it's really fun it's really unique um, and our opponent scoops it up okay go to sideboarding playing against white uh, what do we want to bring in here? Oh, I don't have electricery in this in this sideboard. I really should have electricery. I need to bring that in. Um, we could bring in Nature's Claim against his Journey to Nowhere. But how useful is that really? Wouldn't I rather just draw another creature? I think I like the deck the way it is. Um, if he does something in game two... Uh, that you know, I'll, I'm just gonna wait for game two to make any changes here. I'm pretty happy with what I got. All right, here we go in game two. I'm sure my opponent has brought in some artifact or enchantment hate, probably some sun lance, I imagine. And plus, now that he knows what we're trying to accomplish here, it's going to make it a little more difficult, probably. This hand is fine. Not sure if I want to play turn one Toxic or turn one Bow, though. Hmm. Let's see. Turn one, if I play the Bow. Turn two, I can play the Recluse. Turn three, equip the Bow. If I go with the... Did he just pass through his turn? He kept six, no lands? Oh, boy. Well, I think we're gonna go turn. I think we're gonna go for the turn three deadly recluse plan. So next turn we'll play the recluse. Turn after that we'll equip the bow. Hopefully we can get a good foothold. Oh, he either d just drew a land or accidentally passed through his turn. We'll see. I like the recluse here because it's a one-two and can block the soul warden if need be. Okay, veteran armorer. I really like this guy's deck. He, he's playing the that um I, I think at least he's playing that white token deck that uh that we that I have. Okay, well I think yeah we're just gonna go ahead and equip up this bow. I think it's gonna be the best route. And I guess we'll pass turn here. Let's see if he plays a land. Can he play triplet spirits? One two three four five. No, he can't. All right, we'll go ahead and pass the turn. Yep. Opponents at four cards in hand. Casts a Doom Traveler. All right. Gains a life. Two mana journey. Circle of protection red. Okay. Goes to combat. Doesn't attack. We are going to ping down the veteran warrior, I suppose. Take our turn here. Um, do we want to do abundant growth? I think I do want to do abundant growth. On the on the mountain, yeah, on the mountain. All right. Fire whip. That's a good one. So we can play our mountain. And we can play the Iguana and equip Fire Whip to it. Actually, I think I want to play the... Let's play the Toxic here. And I'm going to play the Viper at end, to end of turn. I probably should have pinged that Warden there before I played the Toxic. I don't think it's going to make a real big difference. So, he's got Circle Protection Red. Okay. So, maybe I should favor ping in him with the green creatures. Cycles a desert. That's an interesting choice. Goes to combat. Doesn't attack. We're going to ping the Soul Warden here. Should have done that before I had to play the Toxic, I know. And we're going to bring in the Viper. 
All right, back over to us. I think I'm going to fire whip up the iguana. Uh, and yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and kill this. What's he doing? Circle protection red. Whenever a source would deal damage to you this turn, that shouldn't take effect here. I don't think that's how that works. I mean, maybe it does, but I don't think that's how it works. No, it's not. Okay. Now, if I ping him with the toxic, then it works. Sure. Uh, do I want to ping the spirit with the recluse and attack in with the viper? Kind of do. Kind of do want to do that. Let's hmm. Let's tap this for green. Play the abundant growth here. Draw a card. Tap this for a red. Play the iguana. Ping that spirit for one. Attack in for two. And we'll go ahead and pass the turn here. There is an argument for leaving up my death pingers for the end of his turn, but... He'll have three cards in hand, and I just kind of want to get two damage in and start attacking here. Plays a planes. He's got two cards in his hand. Passes a turn. All right, let's go for... Hmm. Should I power whip? I think I'm going to hold on to this power whip here. I don't really have a huge need to play it right now, and I don't want to get two for one. Two fire whips. All right, we'll take a fire whip. And I guess we'll go ahead and play an abundant growth here. Nah, let's just go ahead and equip a fire whip. I mean, I have two of them now, so we'll just throw a fire whip on the toxic here. Might as well. All right, and let's attack in with the viper. And since my three creatures with the equipments only deal one anyway, then I'll just ping him in the face if he doesn't play a creature on his turn. Alright, he passes a turn here. Now this is where he wants to use the uh, Circle of Protection. This, this should work here. Oh, what? Wait, what? I'm confused. Why did the power whip, like, fall off? I'm confused here. Did you see that? The power whip was, like, on the other side of the board. I was afraid to play anything, because I didn't know if, like, if my enchantments were going to fall off or something. That was weird. But he still took the damage. Did you see that? So strange. All right, we'll play the Rugged Highlands here. Attack in with the Viper. Some kind of visual glitch there, but... Um, now that I know the enchantment is going to come back onto the creature, then I'll, I'll go ahead and ping him in the face. I was just afraid it wouldn't. This probably isn't a very common strategy for MTGO. All right, ping him in the face. And again, let's see. He's at 16. Let's see if this stops it. I'm really curious. Okay, auto yield to the circle. He's at 16. And... Does this hit him? Let's see. Nope, it does not. Okay, well, we're going to make him use the mana for it. I didn't expect it to, to deal any damage to him, so that's not surprising. Okay. Okay, well, hmm. 
Suppose we'll go ahead and start attacking in with the green creatures and just use the red creatures to uh, ping his creatures. That should be enough. He probably has a circle of protection green in his uh, deck. That would be interesting. Squadron Hawk, all right. Before he has a chance to, uh, one, two, three, okay, he can't use triplicate spirits here. I was afraid he might be able to convoke, so. All right, he goes to his in phase. I'm going to kill his hawk here. I don't think that will work, though, that, that uh, circle. It's only damage that deals to, to him, I believe. We're going to make him use this mana. Okay. I think I may attack with just about everything on my next turn. Okay, we'll play the archer. I think I may attack... Let's see, I'm going to attack with this, this... And should I attack with both? I think I'm just going to attack with this. Yeah. We'll just do that. Take him down to 10. If he gets circle protection green, we might be in a bit of a trouble, but we will see. He's at six mana here. Okay, Souls Attendant. Is this uh, Triplicate Spirits I was afraid of? Mm, Battle Screech. All right, well, we'll ping him for one here. So he can't flash it back yet. Probably not at all. I don't know. I should be able to keep him at bay. Okay, he gets two birds. He's got one mana floating. Passes a turn. We'll kill a bird. He's he's tapped out, so I can get in quite a bit of damage here, I think. Um, I'm going to play this... Uh, should I play this fi Power of Fire? Probably not... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage I can do. Let me double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight. I, I can do eight damage. We'll play the scorpion. Ping the bird. We're not gonna go with the the not the eight damage here. We're just gonna we're just gonna st straight up attack. Um, let's see, should I do it like this? I don't think the one damage is really worth it here. Maybe it is. Oh, he scooped it up. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I feel like we were kind of in like a lock phase here. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you like this deck. I really do. It's really unique. It has major weaknesses like burn, hexproof, stuff like that. But, uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.